And in our last episode, we decided to devote our time to uh, finding and assassinating a member of the Order, which is sort of like an evil cabal of ne'er-do-wells who is secretly pulling the strings behind England politics and power plays and whatnot. So uh, before we get back into the main story arc where we go around the country and build alliances with different regional leaders and stuff like that, which is kind of what the main story is here in this game, we are going to do another one of those uh, order quests. It's a little bit uh, more accessible in the short term. And we're going to try to get the lathe. So the last episode we went and we killed uh, Gunilla, who was the Adzi. And in order to do that, we had to find three clues to unlock who she was. And then we had to like go find her and kill her, which finding her and killing her was super anticlimactic. We literally just walked up behind her and stabbed her once and she was down. Um, so easy day. Finding the clues was a little bit more difficult. Today we're going to go after the lathe. Um... And the very first thing we need to do to unlock the lathe is to defeat the dice champion found at Buckingham's Inn in northern Oxenfordshire. So, um, and presumably once we do that, another clue will be unlocked. So let's say uh, here is Oxenfordshire, here is the north of Oxenfordshire, and here is Buckingham. So we're going to fast travel to Buckingham. Presumably, somebody will be playing dice somewhere here. Now, it's worth noting that in um, another one of our... And I can jump into this once I'm no longer in the perpetual loading screen of Doom here. It's worth noting that uh, while hunting members of the Order one of the the bigger order members i don't i don't know the people who have the bigger headshots and the big grid of order people there i don't know what the difference is some people have little faces and some people have big faces i assume the big face people are members of the kind of the central council of whatever evil rulers whatever the hell they're called um these guys these big people here doop 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 Big faces, big faces. Um, the liar has brown hair with a brown mustache and goatee. Don't give a don't give a crap, really. Uh, spends some of his time browsing in the market. Was it this guy? Was it this? Uh, was it the liar? No, no, me. The liar is making a liar out of me. Maybe it's the vice. Ah, it's the vice. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, the vice. Dice playing abound in the vice's village. So we're going to go play dice with somebody. So maybe this is the vice's village that we're headed to? Uh, eliminate any target from the same branch. It's not really in the same branch here. I kind of hoped that by killing the lathe by playing dice with somebody over here. We would indirectly open up a clue to this person over here because we, we are hearing about dice in both places. But this person's branch is way off. This person's branch is way the hell over here. Investigate the fort at Thieves Warren atop the highest hill and blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. So what we need to do here is kill the people in this branch of the whatever family, if you want to call it that, and that unlocks this person. So when we kill this person, that will get us one step closer to knowing who the liar is. That'll be a third clue. The hell is the bill hook? Lincolnshire. Yeah. Two. I only need two clues for this guy. Whatever. Eyes on the prize, Seth. Let's uh, stick with the lathe. So to Buckingham. This is where we are. We need to play dice here. Dice. That's dice. Alright, we're gonna go play dice. 
In our last episode, uh, as you know, because you watch all of these episodes faithfully, um, you know that for the first time ever, we won a drinking contest. So we had to, in order to unlock one of the clues, we had to win a drinking contest, and I had been shite at the drinking contests right up until that moment. And in that moment, I won a drinking contest in order to unlock a clue. It was the greatest moment in Viking history before this one that you're about to see here. I'm going to go in here and I am going to win a dice game. I've never played dice. I don't. I haven't spent any time. I don't get into this goddamn place. Uh, I haven't spent any of my time in this game. Did you have a frigging door? Door. Um, Alright, I'm here to play dice. I had not won a drinking contest in this entire game. I don't spend a lot of time, like, playing little side games and stuff to earn money or whatever the hell it is. I mostly just follow the main storyline and, like, go kill people as necessary. But this, apparently, is something we need to we need to play these games. Right, so we're gonna try it. I've never played it. this game well. She says that, but I've never actually played it. Are you brave enough for a game or two? Let us play. Sure. You are an eager one. Okay, I hope there's no money riding on this. Okay, game rules. I'm, I'm gonna have to... Okay, I'm gonna have to read this, because I literally have never done this. Warlog is a game where two players duel by rolling dice and invoking god favors. The first player to reduce the health of the opponent to zero wins. I don't understand. Each round has three phases. The roll phase, players roll their dice. The die faces have various effects like attack, defense, or gain tokens to invoke god favors. The god favor phase, players may invoke a, whatever that thing is, offering to invoke a god favor. God favors grant powerful blessings that can greatly affect the outcome of a round or even a game. The resolution phase. The phase of the dice rolled by both players are resolved against each other. Damage is dealt or blocked. Those fucking thing tokens are gained or stolen. Rounds are played until one player reduces the health of the other to zero. I don't understand at all. This is like trying to learn Pokemon on the fly. I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't have any idea what I'm doing here. Those rules mean nothing to me. Okay, but we're gonna try it. A coin flip, sure. Heads. I play first. I don't know what that means. At the beginning of each round, you and your opponent will take turns rolling dice. You can roll up to three times. Between each roll, you can choose which <laughs> which dice you want to keep and which one you want to reroll. I don't know how to know whether one is good or bad. I, I don't know. This doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. Deal one damage. Block one. Deal one damage. Block one. Steal this from the opponent. Gain one. Tokens are used to invoke god favors. Uh, that's, I mean, that's fine, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I don't have any idea what I'm doing right now. I mean, I, I'm fine, I'm fine with all of those, although, I mean... Select a dice to confirm to keep. It's fine. Yeah, sure. I I guess I I hate this. I really hate this. I don't want to play this game. I just want my clue so I can go kill somebody. Good to go. I don't know. I'm hoping I'm just get lucky. I'm hoping I'm going to just get lucky. Interesting. If you say so, I have no idea what you're talking about. 
In this phase, the dice effects are resolved in order. Each square earns one whatever called the token thing. That and that are resolved and their own block damage is applied. The player who rolled first this round also attacks first. Each little hand thing steals one thing from the... Okay, sure. happened there. Did I win? Did I lose? Is somebody in the lead? What's happening? I hate this. Select a dice to confirm. Heal one damage. Yeah. I don't know who's babbling in the background there, but it's super distracting from my evil fight here. Block. Sure. What's this? Steal one thing from the opponent and gain one thing. Confirm. So what happens to that last one? I don't want to confirm that one. I'm going to roll it again. I guess, yeah, okay, I guess that's what I'm playing. The God Favor phase. You may choose a god favor to invoke. God favors are invoked in order of priority. When a god favor is invoked, it's this thing offering is given and it's favor granted. Most god favors are invoked after both players choose before the resolution phase, but some that specifically stated in their effect description are invoked after the resolution phase. Christ. If the player doesn't have enough of this for the offering, then the god favor they choose is invoked. If the effect is not granted, you can use this to your advantage against your I, I don't understand. Select a god favor to use. Thor's Strike. How many of these things do I have? Sure. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Taking my god favors. Okay. I don't get it. Whatever. Whatever. Why do I keep rolling dice? Okay. Thor's strike. Deal damage to the opponent after. Select a dice to keep it. So what does this one do again? Deal one damage. Deal one damage, gain a thingamabobber. I keep that one. Okay. That one. Block. I like the blocks. Uh, yep. All right, we are going to do that, I guess. We're going to see if we can get some more god favors. I think I'm understanding. I'm going to use my little... Let me see if I can get a little hand. Nope. Nope. I'm going to see if I can get a little hand that grabs the god favor thing of a bobber. I don't want to keep listening to this drunk guy in the background. That's what I want. I want a little hand that grabs me more god favors. Right. Just block my thing with bobbers. 
blocked one of her thingamabobbers. I grabbed one of her god favors. She grabbed two of my god favors. Damn you. took a bunch of my little things there. This whole video is going to be me playing this stupid game. I need to win this thing in order to get another clue. Right, what does this do? Block. I mean, sure. Sure. I really hate listening to that guy babble. And yes. Can I take this one back? Take this one back. Put that one out. Um, uh, excuse me, I'm going to re roll my last two. Oh, re rolling. I want more God favor things because those seem to be kicking my ass. Is that? I don't even know. Alright, I'm losing, and this is taking forever. Um, okay. Yep, we'll keep it. Yep, we'll keep it. We'll definitely keep that. We need more god favors. Um, we'll roll all the rest of them. Yeah, this is such a pain in the ass of a game. So she's blocking one of my shots, and she's got a little god favor hand out there. Right. Try that. Okay. Sorry. I apologize for my language. Loki must have tampered with my bones. Don't be too hard on yourself. Orlog is a whimsical game. Uh. Let's go again. I'm not done yet. Let's begin. I hate this. Head, tails, I guess. Whatever. Uh. At least I sort of understand what the game is now. I don't like it at all. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. 
And that's it. I'm gonna block two of her things and I'm gonna take one of her. Yes, attack, done. I don't know. I mean, I'm not good at this. I, I'm not good at this game. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Jeez. Ugh. Okay. You're gonna god phase some crap at me. I always keep the ones with little dotted lines on them because they, I don't know, um, give me god favors. Uh, nope. Rolling them all again. I only want god favors. Dang it. Okay, well... One, two, three, four. She's got three, four, uh, three god favors. I got two god favors. We cancel each other out in terms of grabbing. Oh, sorry. Sure. Ha ha! Oh, hands. Hands are too proud, right? Ah, give me that back. Thank you. You've got way more god favors than you. I don't. Right now, I'm winning. I don't expect that's going to last very long. God favor. God favor. That's it. Of course, now she knows not to, th like, shoot arrows at me. Uh, yep, that's it. I just want the god favors, that's all I want. Hmm. That's it? I can't choose anymore? Uh, okay. Oh, she's gonna come hard after me. Got one. Flat. Walk. Take one of my damn god favors. How with you, lady? See, this is close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh! I just want to win one of these damn things so I can. God favor. God favor. That's it. Give me one of your god favors. That's it. Okay, here we go. Super attack. God, I am so bad at this. Ugh. Come on. That's it. That's 
that's it. going for all of it. Please, 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 please. Ah! No! Ah! Is with me this time. I may have won this time, but next game, it could be anyone's. How about it? Another go. I'm not done yet. Let's begin. Oh god, I hate this. I hate this so much. Heads, I guess. I don't I don't know. This will do. Nope. I only want God favors. I guess that's what we're doing. Come on, just give me luck. Just give me luck. She's going to hit me with the best shot, so to speak. Three of mine. One of those. I'm going to take some of her god favors. She's got more god favors than I do. Just need a damn clue so I can go kill somebody. Yeah, that's it. She's already put down a helmet, so. Just have mercy on me, stupid game.
I need to roll something that either does damage or... Okay, well, we're in trouble now. She's going to hit me with both of those arrows. God favors for me in here. This will do. I'm gonna lose again. It's gonna piss me off. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not allowed to keep playing? for everything. I have you cornered now. Come on. No. Interesting. She does have me cornered now. As much as I hate to say it. Just want to knock her all the way the hell out. This game is as good as over. How come she can attack first? You win. No! I may have won this time, but next game, it could be anyone's. How about it? Another go. I'm not done yet. Let's begin. Uh, this sucks. This, this really sucks. I mean, I sort of understand now. Watch me play dice for freaking forever. Okay, that doesn't do me any good. Nope. We're gonna skip. You know what? We're gonna save up our little god favors until we can use them as one destructive blow later. We are going to save up God favors and we are going to F you up. This will be a God favor ass whooping. Sure. That's it. Hmm. I don't hate this game as much as I did a second ago. So that cancels that out. That's it. Only God favors. Only God favors. So she's got an arrow that cancels out my target. Uh, my arrow cancels out her target. Okay. 
I've got three arrows. She's got three arrows. I've got two targets. She's got one target. I can steal one of her thingamabobbers. Let's just try to hammer her for all it's worth. Can we just win one? I I just want to I just want to win. I'm here to kill somebody. Like this is not important to me. Um, block that shot. That's enough. Well, I guess whatever I get next, I'm gonna have to play with. Block her hand. Got two arrows. I'm gonna roll again, damn it. I don't think I've got enough stuff to do a god favor. One, two, three, four. Nope, it's given. Fire one of me, but. Almost oh got you now. God favor thing to get me where it hurts. Yes. That's it. Helmet is an interesting choice, lady. This will do. Will it, though? I, I'm done? I didn't realize I was done. Okay. One, two, three. Take him. Oh, she's coming hard now. Ugh. She's coming hard. Oof. That hurts. It hurts. This is my game, stranger. Just give up. She's not far behind me. I just need to get one more rock. That's like 40 minutes of me playing this stupid dice game. I need to get one more rock. Yep. Yep. Blocks her arrow and fires one of my own. Nope. Do I win? Oh, you are pretty good. Shall we go again? You are pretty good. Another time, perhaps. You did win one out of like five friggin' games. Uh, God, that was excruciating. Okay. That was excruciating. That really sucked. Investigate the sealed chamber on the grounds of Eaton Barn, east of Xenoforda. Uh, Here is what I know. The one who calls himself Lathe boasts of putting an end to a rival. I cannot divine what he did, but a sealed chamber in Eaton Barn made holy answer. East of Xenoforda. Linforda? 
Where is Oxenaforda? Derelict shrine of something or other? Spooky haunted island of some sort? Oxenaforda? Xenoforda. Okay, now what? What did they say again? Investigate the sealed chamber on the grounds of Eton Barn, east of Oxenfordshire. That was over here. East of Oxenford. Ugh. So there's a barn somewhere east of here. Got it. Do I seriously have no fast travel locations within like a bajillion miles of there? Oh god. Okay. I guess we're gonna go on a bit of a... a bit of a walk. East of Oxenfordshire. Oh, Ghost Wolf! Take me to East of Oxenfordshire. There's a barn or something east of Oxenfordshire. Um, Sure not. I'm not entirely sure why I always sort of smash into people. Oh, I'm fairly close, actually. Right, let's go. Let's not fight. Let's not fight. I'm not looking to fight. I just want to go east. I didn't realize I'd be coming in. I mean, I did, I guess, realize I'd be coming in from the north like that. Um, but I'm looking to sort of be out to the east of there. Ghost Wolf, I love you. You're super fast, and you made up that ground in, like, no time. Any treasures or anything in that little pond, by any chance? You can't hide from me! Yeah, uh, I assume you're a... some sort of life quest of some sort? What is this? I see you. Or Peter appears Mother in the pond. I, I don't care, lady. Uh, for another time, maybe. Um, I'm not even curious. Um, so, we are going to go... I don't know who just felt like they needed to attack me. Whatever, we're headed this way. So, is it a barn or something? you attack my wolf, you dink? That is unacceptable. Unacceptable. He is a ghost wolf. What is this? Okay. Well, I've been here before. I killed the dude here. Lots of dudes here. 
get some leather out of this. Oh, look at this. This is Ethan's barn. Uh, so what? Okay, you're having a bad day. Get it, whatever. That looks like the sort of place somebody would hide something. Um, got any explosives? Oh, do you ever? You guys got explosives all over the place. Hit the right. I hit the wrong button and decided to do a backflip instead of picking the stupid thing up. Got it. I'm gonna put the explosive there. Eyes be all back up. Wait to the fire. We good? All right. Whoa! A key. That seems important. Let's not make this complicated. Let's just let's just be obvious. Can we do that? Can we just be obvious right now? up there. Alright, give me the stupid key. Thank you. Treasure. Thank you. First, I'll take this dead guy's stuff. In here, okay, cool. All right, I'm here for that. Uh, not sure what this is all about, but usually there's something hidden back here, right? Hidden things. What is this? Note found in the sealed. Ah, uh -huh. what this is, but I'll take it too. Treasure hoard map. Okay. Anything else? Let's look at our soon-to-be-dead friend. Now we know who this is. Assassinate the lathe. He can found. He can be found repairing shops near the dock of Buckingham. We were just there. He was brought into the order by his colleague, the Anvil, who plucked him away from service of the young Aethelred, whatever the hell that means. Uh, the order values his great expertise in shipbuilding and fashioning wooden implements of torture. That's creepy. Uh, I did not deserve this fate. I gave my all. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, we can mark him as a target? <laughs> well, then, let's do that! Alright. This is going to be like an hour-long video, and a solid 40 minutes of it is going to be me playing that stupid dice game with a lady at the bar in Buckingham. I apologize for everything I stand for.
This will be the worst Assassin's Creed Valhalla video ever. And nobody will ever know because like, I don't know, four people watch any of these. But I say that, but those uh, Fortnite videos that you guys all actually come to the channel for are fairly labor intensive. Uh, and uh, 105 meters of this away. Noah is such an important part of those. Uh, and Noah's busy because he's a teenager and he's got school. Uh, which is not to say that I'm not busy too, but... Um, um, but I really, I can't just do a whole Fortnite channel by myself. Noah really needs to be a big part of that. A perfect world, Pearson does as well, but Pearson's got friends and he's busy. He games, he games online with other people. Noah makes time for his dear old dad. Okay. Is that it? Oh, these guys. Another uh, epic boss fight. I serve the young Athelred. He will rise one day. He is no Alfred, from Whatever, what I dude. hear. I lie to everyone, and they will never know. They will tell stories of me as a good man who served his lord. Your Uger walks Whatever, the dude. beast. Whoa. Hey, we got some more skill points to use. Let's use up our skill points. Could come in handy. We're going to do this one instead. Okay. Inventory. What have we got here? Just another one of those stupid rune things. opens a chest somewhere out there. Anything else? Oh, this one. Anything else? Wolf Claw. A treasure War map. Okay! The Ash Spears. We got, we got another clue for the Ash Spear. East Anglia. We can do East Anglia. Oh, hell yeah. The Ash Spear, the Roman Tower north of Northwich in East Anglia. Okay. Got another clue for this dude. Dear uh, Lathe, I set the brutal deeds and bloody plans aside and let my spirit wander from note to simple note on the stage in town. Why are some sort of hippie or something? I don't know. Forms music on a stage. Well, ladies and gents, oops. The Ash Spear is in, or we can start looking for clues in East Anglia. The Billhook is in Lincolnshire. 
don't remember... Where is Lincolnshire relative to everything else we're doing here? There's Scent. There's Wessex. Hamptonshire. Bigger britches than we're really... Shiroptishire. Modestishire. Irvishishire. Lincolnshire. Uh, you know what? I bet we could do Lincolnshire too. Okay, so the order. All right, we can handle this. We can do the bill hook and the ash spear. And once we get those two, we will be very, very close to knowing who this is. And we'll probably... Lincolnshire. Yeah, so this guy is Lincolnshire. So we're going to be able to probably knock out this entire section of the order over the course of the next. We'll be able to kill this dude, this dude, this dude, and this dude. We'll be able to do all of this. All in the next probably couple of episodes. We'll keep working on our way. I, I don't mind this. Let's keep working our way down this chain. We'll do the Ash Spear next. We'll take out the Bill Hook after that. And we'll hopefully we'll open up a clue about who the Crozier is. And then we will take out the Liar once and for all. These guys are above our pay grade. Well, that's going to be it. Uh, we did set out in this video to uh, accomplish one thing and one thing only, and that was to take out um, this dude, Musel, heir to what he tells. The lathe. We promised we would come in, we would find him, we would kill him, and that is what exactly what we did. Um, thank you so much for watching, and... Um, yeah, yeah we'll check you out next time. Use code TRIPLEHOUND in the Fortnite item shop if you play Fortnite, and in the Epic Games Store on your PC if you don't. And that's that. Bye-bye.